A fortnight after the centre revoked special status to Jammu and Kashmir, leading to a lockdown in the state, primary schools finally reopened on Monday. According to reports, only 196 primary schools of the 900 in Srinagar have reopened. But with security restrictions still in place, attendance was low to negligible in most schools. According to Shahid Iqbal, the Deputy Commissioner of Srinagar, the decision was taken after reviewing security arrangements. The Indian Army has rejected Jammu and Kashmir People's Movement leader Shaila Rashid's allegations regarding the situation in Jammu and Kashmir and termed them baseless. Rashid, in a series of tweets on Sunday, had alleged that army men were forcefully entering houses, ransacking ration and picking up young boys. The army said that the allegations levelled by Shaila Rashid are baseless, adding that such unverified and fake news are spread by inimical elements and organisations to incite unsuspecting population. At least 22 people have been killed and scores injured as heavy rain slashed Himachal Pradesh on Sunday. In Kulu, a portion of a bridge over Beas River collapsed after the water level increased due to rainfall. All private and government schools and colleges in the Kulu region will also remain closed on Monday. Traffic was hampered on 68 roads across the state and the maximum blockades were in the Chamba district. Train services between Shimla and Kalka were also disrupted after at least five landslides blocked the rail route. Battered by heavy rain, flood and landslides, Kerala continues to count its dead. Rescuers are using ground-penetrating radars to locate bodies at Kavalapara in Malapuram and Putmala in Bayanad, where massive landslides had wiped out two villages. A government report said 121 people have lost their lives since August 8th and some 47,000 people are still in 296 relief camps. With the water level in the Yamuna River expected to cross the danger mark in the next 24 hours, the Delhi government sounded a flood alert for the city. The government has asked people living in low-lying areas to move to safer places. In Uttar Pradesh, several rivers including Ganga, Yamuna and Ghagra are in spate. The Ganga is flowing above the danger mark in Badaun, Gharmukteshwar, Naraura and Farukabad. The Sharda River in Palyakalan and the Ghagra River in Elgin Bridge are flowing above the red mark, authorities said. In a freak incident, a drunk driver rammed an SUV into a group of people in Bengaluru. The shocking incident happened in HSR layout as the speeding car ran over pedestrians on a footpath. Several people have been reported injured in the accident. Police said that the driver has been taken into police custody and the injured have been admitted to hospital. In a setback for former Tehelka editor Tarun Tejpal, the Supreme Court on Monday rejected his plea to quash sexual assault charges against him. The top court said that the charges against Tejpal are serious and directed the Goa court to complete the trial in the case within six months. A junior colleague had charged Tejpal with sexual assault during a Tehelka event in Goa in 2013. He's been out on bail since May 2014. The Supreme Court has granted the CBI two more weeks to complete the investigation into the road accident case of the Unnao rape survivor and her lawyer. The top court also directed the Uttar Pradesh government to pay rupees 5 lakh interim compensation to the lawyer for medical expenses. CBI had sought four weeks' time from the Supreme Court to complete the probe, saying statements of the two victims are yet to be recorded as they are in critical condition. In a bizarre deal, a man in Gorakhpur let go of his wife in exchange of 71 sheep. His wife had fled with her lover and the husband has agreed to the relationship in exchange of the flock. According to reports, this exchange happened under the watchful eyes of the village panchayat after the woman eloped with her lover. But now, in another twist to the strange tale, the woman's lover's father, whom the sheep flock belonged, has demanded the sheep back and has reportedly approached the police. Days after Pankaj Tripathi impressed one and all as Guruji and Netflix series Sacred Games 2, the makers of the show have unveiled an audition tape of Pankaj Tripathi. Tripathi is not seen as Guruji but as getting into the character of Ganesh Gai Tonde. Title leaked audition tapes the video shows that Tripathi just can't get the intensity required for playing Gai Tonde and finds Bunty to be too vulgar and refuses to even say his dialogues. Take a look. मैं मैं बंटी बंटी नहीं करूंगा इलो छाता कैसे क्या तुम्हें सतयुग में प्रवेश नहीं करना है बलिदान देना होगा अहम ब्रह्मास्त्र